it's so miserable and grey outside and September-ish that I'm going to cheer me and Bella up with something really hearty and warming and cosy. A very quick lunch that's protein packed, nutrient dense, full of plant fibre. It's vegan, although you could add a little bit of ham or something to it if you wish, and it's cheap. So um, let's get on with it. Got some good quality olive oil, some Celtic sea salt, and some chopped onions sizzling away in the pan here. Now, I usually do this with butter beans, but I haven't got any, and believe me, butter beans are amazing. If you get the choice, do it with butter beans. But I've got cannellini beans and some uh, nice uh, black beans to add into the pan. So chuck it all in and mix it up. You want this on a pretty low heat to start with. I'm gonna throw a couple of cloves of garlic in when I squeeze this, I can't do it 100. You can season it again here. I use a really good quality Celtic sea salt. Um, sometimes I use Himalayan salt and I'm gonna add some black pepper as well. If you're like me and you grew some courgettes this year, you'll be putting them in absolutely everything. So it doesn't matter if you've not got courgette, but if you have, I've grated some and I'm gonna add it in right now. Give that all a stir and pop it up to a medium heat for about five minutes. When that's been cooking for long enough, I'm just gonna add some vegan cream to mine. I, I have a dairy allergy, so I don't use any dairy. But if you wanted, you could use some um, cream if you wanted to. And when you've finished mixing all that in, we're going to add a nice dollop of tomato puree. So I'm going to make a little hole in the middle, pop it in there and then bring all the ingredients into it. Have a really, a really good dollop. Sorry if that's going out of focus. So I have been mixing that in. Uh, we don't have it overly tomatoey. Bella's not a fan of that strong tomato flavour. But if you want, you can make it as strong as you want. And you can add all sorts of other things here. So you could put in some chopped bacon or a little bit of ham. Uh, you know, just make this your own at this point. So have a taste. See if it needs a little bit more Celtic sea salt, any more black pepper, any more garlic. And uh, what you should have is this lovely creamy Mediterranean flavour going on here at the minute. So what we want is a nice thick texture, not soupy, it's not a stew, it's like a warm beanie salad that's really Mediterranean, Mediterranean and nice and creamy. Uh, and typically you might have some sourdough with this or a really nice um, kind of bread. We're gluten free so we don't really have bread in our routines so we're just going to have it as it is. Um, so it's time to dish it up and I'm going to layer on top of it some nice chopped avocado and some spring onions. And there we have it, a lovely, nutritious, tasty, warm and cosy, protein packed, cheap and easy meal.